Alright then gang, so we've seen how to make a query inside a page. This is a page query. We export this query at the bottom, then we can use that data in our component. But how do we then also make a query inside a component that is not a page? We can't do it the same way. If we tried this kind of thing inside one of these components, it would not work. Instead, what we have to do is use something called a static query. And that's a bit different from a page query. First, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So what I'd like to do is make a query inside the nav bar over here. Now, what I'm gonna do is import a hook in order to make this query, and that comes from Gatsby. So let me import a couple of things. First of all, I'm gonna import GraphQL because we also need to import that. We're gonna still make a query using GraphQL, but also a hook called use static query like so and this is the hook we use to make a query inside the component this time we don't do it outside the component we do it inside the component so the way we do this is by saying const and then data is equal to use static query and then inside here we say graphql like so and then we do our template string again the back ticks and then we just pass in our query as normal so what i'm going to do is grab this query over here because it's going to be almost identical i'm going to cut that and i'm going to paste it over here so i'm going to still call it site info and this time i don't want the description i just want the title so let me get rid of the description right there so what I'm going to do now is use this data inside this component because this returns the data right here. Before I do that, I want to destructure the title from the data. So I'm going to say const and then title, and that is equal to data, which is this thing right here. Then we need to go onto the site property, which is this. So dot site, then the site metadata. So dot site metadata like so. So we're grabbing the title from that and then we can use the title inside this component and I'm going to do that right here instead of Web Warrior so it's not hard coded anymore and the title is now dictated by Gatsby config over here. It is the same in this case but we can change it to something different if we wanted to. So I'm going to now save this file over here and I'm also going to go back to the index file and I'm going to get rid of this page query because I'm not going to use that anymore and I can get rid of this where I output it and we don't need this at the top because we're no longer getting that data and we can get rid of it right here. We just now have it inside the nav bar over here. So if we go over here, I do see an error. So I'm just going to refresh to see if that error goes away. Yes, it does. And now we can see inside the nav bar, we have Web Warrior. OK, so it still outputs it. It's just now being driven by that dynamic data and a query that we make right here. Now, I said before that we technically don't need to have this bit inside the query. I just want to show you that if I delete this, it doesn't matter that it's not here anymore. So if I save it and come over here, I can refresh. It's still going to work exactly the same way. Now, there is a difference between the static queries right here and the page queries at the bottom of page components. And that is in page components, we can use query variables. Now, we've not seen those yet, but you'll see them later. And in these queries, you can't use query variables. So just be aware of that. One other thing I also want to mention is that this hook right here, sometimes it can be a bit temperamental and throw an error. One thing I've noticed is that if I use components that are not capitalized right here, this sometimes throws an error and it doesn't really like it. So I always make sure these are capitalized so I don't get that error. Now, I've not done much digging around with this. It's just my recent experience using it. And finally, one more thing, you can only use this hook once inside a component. So you can't use this hook again down here. That won't work. So now we know how to make page queries and we also know how to make static queries inside components that are not pages. Next up, we're going to start to look at adding other data sources using our file system.